Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, December 21st, 2020. Free pick coming up in Monday Night Football, NFL style. We'll get to that in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to jump on board and give it a trial run, all you got to do is click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Real quick recap, then we'll get into not only tonight's free pick between the Steelers and Bengals, but also tell you what we got going on. It is bowl season. It kicks off today. We'll talk about that in just a moment. I had a bad Sunday. Let's just talk about it and get it out there. Two, four, and one with all premium plays and the free pick uh, released here combined. That was soccer, NFL, college basketball. In fact, I went 0-2 in college basketball, which is our worst day with college basketball sides going all the way back to day one, November 25th. So we're happy in a sense that 0-2 is our worst day in about a month, uh, but we still wanted to mention that, listen, I don't care how long I'm in this business, it's been a long time, I hate losing uh, not only my money, but any of you who jump on board. And that's what happened yesterday between those three sports, two, four, and one with the free pick and premium picks combined. And uh, listen, I started this business in August of 1989. I was just 22 years old living in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, the very same day that I got offered and accepted a job at National Sports Services, I had a scheduled interview at the Old Sands in Las Vegas to be working in the sports book for sports book director Bob Gregorka, very famous name and very famous odds maker on the Vegas Strip in the 80s and the 90s. The funny thing about it is, as I'm thinking about it, is that just a few years later, Bob Gregorka and I were sitting on a set doing a football TV show together for a couple of seasons, so small world. But uh, the reason I bring it up is I go way back and I absolutely despise losing. You never totally get used to it at all on how to deal with it, even going back 31 years that I've been in this business. So Sunday was a real bummer of a day as far as I was concerned, going 2-4-1 and one, and again 0-2 and in college basketball. Still hitting over 60% with our college basketball sides going all the way back to November 26th. Uh, I only have one play in college basketball on Monday, but it is kind of an under-the-radar underdog, and it's a day game on Monday, so you can go check that out on my homepage at DocSports.com if you wish. Also wanted to mention that I am involved in college football bowl action. I got a bowl play on Monday. I got a bowl play on Tuesday. You don't have to wait. They're available right now over at DocSports.com. 19 and 5 winning season run in the college football bowls. And by the way, after winning on Saturday in college football, we are now hitting 68% and up over $3,300 over the last eight college football Saturdays. One on Saturday. Let's see if we can keep it going on here uh, with our first two college bowl games Monday and Tuesday. Going to give you the free pick in the NFL, so that's coming up on this report. And also wanted to mention, got a five-star play in soccer on Monday. We just had another winning soccer weekend, and we are up almost $4,000 and hitting 69% of our soccer plays going back to November 29th. So listen, if you want to get involved, there's everything that's going on for me on Monday. And don't forget about that $60 free account if you just want to give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, uh, that's everything that's going on for me today. Also, I uh, wanted to mention that the NBA begins on Tuesday. Don't forget about that. All my NBA packages, if you're interested, are available on my homepage at DocSports.com. Let's get to it. Let's check out the lines. Looking at 16 books all over the country, all over the Western Hemisphere in front of me on my screen. And Pittsburgh's basically 14 everywhere. They're getting about 60% of the public action. Here's the thing. When I look at what Pittsburgh's done, and a lot of people are going to feel, and they might be right, that Pittsburgh comes out smoking. They come out guns blazing and after uh, what's happened the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure they're going to do that. They've had seven games this season that have come down and been decided by one score. They are 6-1 and one of those games. Give them a ton of credit. They won those six games by a grand total of 29 points, less than five points per game. Obviously, since he doesn't have Burrow anymore. Last week's game against Dallas, a bit misleading. They get beat 30-7, to seven, but they gave up, what, one offensive touchdown in that game? So it's a situation where it was 
was a bit misleading. The scoring defense has been a little bit better the last couple of weeks. They got to hang on to the football. Allen didn't look that bad. He just didn't, you know, they didn't hang on to the football offensively, and they're going up against a very stout defense. So I get it. Uh, the general consensus, you're thinking, okay, Pittsburgh comes out guns blazing after the past couple of weeks, but they have no running game. In fact, the first time these two teams hooked up, I know Pittsburgh won by 26. They only ran for a little more than 40 yards in that game. If they continue, they're 31st in yards rushing per game. If they continue to struggle on the ground, they're not going to open up the passing game and keep good defenses honest for Big Ben. So anyway, we're going to recommend a play. It's an opinion of free pick on Cincinnati plus the two touchdowns over the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got the free pick winner here yesterday. Arizona got that final touchdown and they got over the hump and then held on over the final seven minutes for the win. Let's do it again here with Cincinnati plus the 14 points. All right, listen, if you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column and I'll be right back here late Monday night with a free play from Tuesday's card. Bowl action underway. NBA gets underway on Tuesday. Can't wait.